like service chiefs, Buhari finally let go of aid the camp, Abubakar. Hello, my people. Buhari is known for one thing, and that is holding on to something. When he gets something, he holds on to it. He does not let it go. Even when the thing is not working, he stays there and he does not move an inch. That thing becomes a low more rock that, you know, is immovable. He stays and he stays and he stays, irrespective of what anybody thinks, I mean, is his position. Anyway, my people, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Like service chiefs, Buhari finally let go his aid the camp, Abubakar. President Muhammad Buhari has released his long-serving aide de camp, Muhammad Abubakar, and accepted Lieutenant Colonel Yusuf Dodo as his replacement. Abubakar, like the service chiefs sacked last week, will be the end of February, will be the longest service ADC to the civil, to a civilian president, having served in that position for almost six years. He's also the second largest, longest serving ADC in the history of Nigerian force and force after late Colonel Wabi, who served General Yakubu Gowon for nine years. He is now bidded to attend a five month training program in Santiago from March the 8th to 30th of July. The course is a prerequisite for his next promotion to the rank of Brigadier General, expected to be carried out in the last quarter of this year. The 48 years old ADC, who has served in various armed units and formation within and outside Nigeria at different capacity, recommended his successor by nominating three seasoned trusted armed officers to Buhari. The president picked Dodo, an academic adequance of Nigeria Defense Academy. Dodo is to undergo study Abu Bakr for three weeks to learn the rope of his new assignment, a presidential source to NAN correspondent. The office of ADC to the president statutorily provides security protect the president and his family in conjunction with other security agencies. Customary, the ADC attends a personal needs of the president and other matters regarding his functions as head of state and commander-in-chief of the armed forces. Officers who are nominated to the ADC to the president must be loyal, have high moral standard, impeccable character, and courage and be knowledgeable. The presidency sought describe Abubakar as a tested and experienced commander, instructor, security manager, and a talented investigator. The new ADC was born on March 28, 1973 as Wasir in Zaria. His father was from Kanu State and his mother is from Edo State. He has an impressive educational background, the source added. Abu Bakr attended the Nigerian military school Zaria from 1985 to 1990, where he developed early life school leadership skill. The new ADC is from Nigerian Army Resource Center, is married to Hajiya Fatima Musa Dara, and is blessed with children. They won't tell you the number of children because uh, they are children. Mm -hmm. no, it, could be, it could be 50 children. <laughs> Just on the lighter notes. The senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Malam Garuba Shewu, when contracted to confirm the appointment of the new ADC, did not say anything. He will not say anything because he's always talking trash. So, sorry to say that, but that's the honest, true reality of who Garuba Shewu is. I say that because of what recently happened. When uh, in Oyo State, uh, Sunday gave uh, ultimatum for headsmen to vacate the state. And also when the, the governor of Ondo State said, I mean, I mean, enough is enough, leave Ondo State, you have committed so much atrocity. Immediately the constitution came on board. The constitution of Nigeria, you cannot go against the constitution of Nigeria. Nigerians are wandering, so you can speak. 
when it was answers, we did not hear your voice. You kept quiet. You were mute as a mouse. You never said a word. Now you can speak. So you see in Nigeria, there are so many people and so many things that are going on. And um, you cannot believe that some people will rather, you know, some people, you look at what is happening in this country. I know that some people have a hand in it. The way their character, the way they go about things, you know that there is more to this than beneath the eyes. You will definitely know. It is just so glary. Their disposition, the way they go about things, you say, no, 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 no. Something is here. Something is happening here. Because when it is, you know, and Buhari cleverly has, he, he, he thinks he's clever. He does not know we understand those tactics. It's an old trick. So it's not new. It's not new. We know. Yesterday they released the statements which we reported to you saying that um, his enemies his enemies, so they want to make this the country uh, ungovernable. They are attacking him. They are saying that he's been uh, he's been he, he, he using ethnic uh, whatever to govern Nigeria. That is not a wanting, 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 wanting. And uh, like, listen, guys, <laughs> Buhari knows what he's doing. If ever there is anybody there, you know, he knows what he's doing. He's somebody who I believe is crafty and would not want to tell the truth. He would not want to tell the truth as it is. You see, he would not want to tell the truth as it is. Because what is happening currently today in this country, you will not say you have not heard. You cannot say that, that you have not heard. That would be a lie. You can't say that. You can't say you have not heard. You know what is going on. How, you know, Garubashi was even bold to say we've been watching the uh, security situation. We've been paying attention to it, you know, from, uh, from uh, 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 all the way from Abuja. Excuse me. You know, when Buhari knows that um, he's already failing, the international community is warming up to him, you know, and everybody is beginning to say what is going on here. Then he will quickly release a statement. And guess what, oh? It was not him releasing the statement, so don't deceive yourself and think that uh, he was there, so he released statement. No, uh -huh. he's, also, he's always either Femi or Garuba Shewo. So it was one of them, it's Femi addition at this time, that released the statement saying that uh, there is a, a reliable information that Buhari's administration is about to be destabilized by some persons who are talking about security, that Buhari is being ethnical with governing Nigeria. Who does not know? excuse me, who does not, who does not know what's happening, you know? So, I mean, guys, leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.